Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 beta 3 and I have to tell you that this is a massive update and there are a lot of things to like about it so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with the always on display and lock screen as usual and from the first glance you will see everything is placed correctly with more and better spacing between the items also the font at the top is bigger and looks nicer to me when compared to beta 2 and when you go to the lock screen you will get a similar look but what's new here is when you tap and hold on the lock screen it will give you a very nice haptic feedback and this button will show at the bottom of the screen which will allow you to, to customize your lock screen so let's tap on it and see what's new first you need to unlock the device and here is the new customization screen on Android 14 so let's deep dive into it first it looks exactly the same as we saw in Google's IO event the first thing you will see at the top is a classification between the lock screen and the home screen and then the clock designs you can choose from in a very nice carousel and immediate live uh, preview for the change so as you see here when I switch between the clocks I can immediately see it on my lock screen and the styles are amazing so there are tons of things to choose from I didn't count them yet but let me go through each one quickly so here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's it so you have nine different clock styles to choose from I already like how the second one looks so let's pick it up and see what we can do with it after the lock screen preview you have a button called clock color and size so let's go inside and here you have plenty of colors to choose from first default which will set the clock to automatically change with your wallpaper or choose a custom color to match your needs and you have plenty of them over here so I think this color looks nice on my wallpaper and then you have a slider uh, to choose the uh, color uh, brightness so for example here you can make it too dark or you can make it bright based on how you like it so I think this is my sweet spot over here and then we have size size you can choose between dynamic and small dynamic means it will act exactly the same as any uh, other uh, previous Android version it will be in the center if you don't have any notifications and then it will shrink to the top left corner if you have any notifications but when you set it to small it will always appear at the top left corner unfortunately it will not show you a preview when you change to small but when you go to your lock screen you will see how the small looks it will always appear at the top left corner and this is what's going to happen when you change or switch to the lock screen so let's continue and see what we can do more before going any further let me switch back to dynamic to show you a new animation and you will notice here every change I make reflects immediately on the lock screen without the need to tap any buttons which is very convenient so I'm gonna go to my lock screen and you will notice here the numbers are organized nicely on the always on display the two numbers on the right are slightly shifted down and when you tap to activate your lock screen you will see this really nice animation and the transition between the two it looks a little bit laggy now but I'm sure it will improve in future builds so let's continue and see what we have the next section we have will allow you to change the system colors as expected from Android and as you see here I can pick whatever I want and when I change the color you will notice here a new reset button at the top right corner so you can revert back to the default and you'll see the colors are back again to the default settings but what's new here when you tap on the ellipses you will see a totally different design so you will see here your lock screen and the home screen side by side which is a really nice idea and here you have two classifications you have wallpaper colors and other colors under wallpaper colors you will notice much more colors to choose from over here with the dark theme toggle to switch immediately and see how your phone looks okay and then you have other colors and this includes the monochrome color we first saw I think in beta 1 some basic colors and finally the dual colors all, all together in the same carousel which will make it much easier for you and by the way if you want to see your home or lock screen in a full screen view just tap on it and it will show you how it looks unfortunately the changes I applied doesn't reflect in this screen just yet but here is how you can check your home and lock screen in full screen view now let's talk about the wallpaper section and here it will show you the most recent ones you did set on the phone previously so you can immediately pick one of them as expected and then you have the more wallpapers page which looks exactly the same as before 
I didn't see anything different even when I tried to set a wallpaper as you see here it looks exactly the same no change so let's skip this part and move to the next part which is also an exciting feature in Android 14 the ability to customize your lock screen shortcuts when I first saw this option in Google's I.O. I was curious to know if I can set a third party app in my lock screen shortcuts but it ended up to be a set of choices already predefined by the system and what I like here is how it grabs your attention you'll see everything is shaded except the lock screen shortcut the left one specifically and when I switch to the right one it will highlight it so it's a nice uh, visual change so you can choose between none the camera the QR code scanner do not disturb wallet Google home the flashlight and then we have mute and finally video calling so let me pick one of the new shortcuts like the camera for example and then go back to my lock screen and try to activate the camera as you see here when I tap it once it will give this very nice animation it's very fast and each move for the icon gives you a haptic feedback on the device that's very nice attention to details so let's tap and hold and that's when the camera opens now we are done with the shortcuts and then we have the same usual notifications on lock screen toggle and then we have more lock screen options which will simply take you to the lock screen settings page and then when you go to home screen you will see pretty much all the changes I just mentioned under the lock screen apply here and also you have the themed icons toggle and a slightly different look for the app grid size page here when you make any change you will no longer see the apply button but they will be applied immediately but keep in mind when you return back to your original app grid size it will keep the same layout so I was freaking out after changing the app grid but thankfully everything is back to normal and now it's time for today's sponsor this video is sponsored by UPDF it's a PDF editor for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android with only one license that you can use across all platforms so let's give it a try on my Windows PC here's a PDF I have and let's say I want to edit this text all I need to do is to click edit PDF on the left then it choose text and deal with it as if it's a word document now I'm done with the text editing but I want to also change one of the images which I can do by clicking the image option from the top select the one I want to change right click on it hit replace to select a different one from my PC but what about adding some annotations to stress on certain points in the document so I'm gonna add an arrow a text box with a hint and put a yellow highlight on the title lastly let's organize the pages to be in the right order so I'm gonna click organize pages then drag them the way I want and I'm done now it's time to save this document but I want to save it in a different format as you can see I can save it as word PowerPoint Excel and more for me I'm gonna choose word now let's take a look at the word document we just saved and as you see all the changes I did are showing correctly and the best part is I can do the same thing on my phone if I don't have access to a PC you can get yourself a UPDF editor pro license for all your devices with an exclusive 54% discount using the link in the description below and now let's get back to Android 14 so that's pretty much everything you can do to customize your lock screen and home screen but now let me show you how each clock style animates on your lock screen now let's move on to the home screen and I only found one change when you install an app and it appears on your home screen while installing you will not see that the app icon will fill the entire space instead of having a padding like before now let's move on to the notifications shade and the quick settings the first change is the ability to tap the clock to open the clock app which is not the case in the previous versions of Android change number two is a new charging animation so let me connect beta 3 to the charger and you will notice here a pill shaped fill color will appear briefly around the battery percentage and then disappears change number three and the last one in this area is in the screen recording 
tile, you will notice here that the toggles look different. Now let's talk about some random tweaks that I missed in my previous videos and also one new addition with Android 14 Beta 3. Starting with what's new in Beta 3, you will notice here that the share and edit buttons are now bigger when compared to Beta 2. But what I missed in my previous videos is the ability to dismiss the accessibility buttons like a picture-in-picture -picture window. And also a new floating menu that appears when you activate the battery saver for the first time to help you choose between your default settings and also set up the extreme battery saver for the first time. And you'll also notice a new turn on and back buttons over here if you don't want to continue with the steps. Now let's talk about the differences under settings and the first one is the toggles. You will notice here they now look different to match the one in the screen recording tile and you will see this each and everywhere. And I have good news for Middle East users. Now you can activate voice over LTE under your SIM card settings which never been the case before. Under display and then lock screen you will notice here that the shortcuts menu has been added and it simply takes you to the same page under the wallpaper and the style app and lastly when you go to display and then navigation mode you will see a new button here that will explain to you how to use the gesture navigation so for example it will explain to you how to go home so when you do the action it will tell you that you did it right and then you tap on done and the how to go back it will explain to you each swipe and how it works now i'm done with all the new features i spotted so far so let's talk about the performance and the stability and i only spotted one major bug so far while making this video which is the inability to use the share sheet completely in any app so what's going to happen here when you tap on share and then tap on more it will crash and nothing will happen it doesn't only impact one app but each and every app i tried it with there is no share sheet so you need to take care before installing Android 13 Beta 3 because the share sheet is one of the most important features in any OS. There is also some lag in the animations here and there but in comparison to Beta 2 it's much better. On the other hand you will find a very long list of fixes that have been shared by Mesha Rahman and also the Google News app on Telegram. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you want to check them out because they are very long and I can't read them all on the video so you can take a look at them yourself so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes in android 13 beta 3 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything to include in my follow-up video but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video